Hello everyone. Welcome to our course Azure Kubernetes Services or AKS Deep Dive, which covers in depth a deep dive for AKS and Kubernetes. This lesson is part of this course and will cover demo 2 lesson 3 for module 2, which is working with Docker container on Windows. This video is part of module 2, understanding and working with Docker. And this is where the video is located in the current module. So let's start working with Docker container on Windows. So in this demo, you will know how to install Docker desktop and Windows subsystem for Linux, which require to work with Docker desktop on Windows. Then we will understand and examine Docker desktop settings, which has several and different settings on Linux Ubuntu. And then we will start doing the same as we did in the previous demo, which is pulling image from Docker Hub or Docker registry. After that, we will see how to run a container as an interactive mode. We will not go through all the process that we did in the previous demo because we already covered that. The main idea here is to just show you that we almost have the same experience in the Windows as we did in Ubuntu or Linux machine. And after that, we will stop and start a container and then attach and detach from a running container the same experience as Linux or Ubuntu. And then turn on experimental Docker feature, which is only supported for Windows platform. And at the end, we will see and examine the container resources for GUI, which is something only available on Windows platform. Before we start, let me give you a quick introduction about myself. My name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a developer technologies MVP and principal DevOps consultant. I have been doing software development for more than 17 years now, working on several projects for different enterprise customers across different regions and countries. For more info about me, you can review lesson one in module one. First, I will navigate to Google and then here search for Docker desktop. So this will take me to Docker desktop on Docker website. And here I will just choose the stable version to download for Windows. And once it is downloaded and then just run or open the folder and double click to install Docker for desktop. Loading the installation. I will leave the default and install Docker. This is just take some time, just to speed it up. Here installing all the components. Now it's complete and the close and the restart. So after the windows restarted, we can see here now we have the Docker icon. And after restarting, as we can see, it require windows subsystem. So I just need here, and as we can see, this is red, which mean it failed to restart. So I open this link, which will navigate me to the Windows subsystem for Linux. So I can install this component, save on my machine, and then navigate to the installed Windows subsystem for Linux to install that. Now I complete the installation. Let's just here to restart. So this will take some time, just to give some time to Docker engine to restart. Now it's complete and as we can see now it's running successfully. So if I open now the settings by click here, this will open the settings. So for example, I can click on settings. So this is the settings, the GUI for the settings. We can see here how to configure the network here WSL and here also the command line the Kubernetes if I want to enable Kubernetes here this is the general settings let's see also other configuration or settings for example we can see here uh, like docker hub I can open the docker hub directly from here let's 
minimize that I can also for example uh, switch to Windows container but of course I can't because this is require hyper V and this is virtual machine I can also open the start quick startup guide and this is very useful if you want to learn some basic command for docker it can walk you through this is very useful as well so there is many settings so let's open the command line so we can run some command here I will just adjust this command line and if I type docker this will display all the switches which mean that docker are installed successfully so the first command is version the same as previous so this will display the client and the server version both versions also the second important command is info which display many info about like how many containers I have how many of them is running and paused or stopped the images and so on so let's now display the images so as we can see I don't have any images or PS which is running container no running container and no even stop the container so let's now pull an image I will pull Ubuntu now I am running of course the docker as a Linux mode so I pull the Ubuntu image which has three layers and as we can see now I have the images so if I now run as an interactive mode and name my container as container1 from the downloaded image Ubuntu and the entry point will be pin bash so now I run the container as an interactive mode and I am inside the container so if I open another terminal to just work with this one so now if I say docker ps we can see that I have one running container which is con1 and this window is inside this container so as we can see I don't have nano and I will run abt update to update abt package management addresses and then now I can install nano I will do the same as the previous demo which is very important to see that so now I have nano I will just create a new file called mrad1.txt and then here I will type hello docker and control x y so I can save this file clear so as we can see now I have mrad1.txt and if I open nano again with this file I can see that I have hello docker let's close that so let's navigate to the second window here the running container one running container let's detach and of course there is no ls here <laughs> so let's get here docker ps only one running container and for the first window let's attach to container one and ls so we can see my file nano emerald one so my file still exists let's detach from this container and let's create a new container uh, so here I will just uh, name this container container 2 and now I'm inside container 2 let's detach from container 2 navigate to window 2 docker ps so as we can see I have two containers container 1 and container 2 so now if I attach to container 2 If I display ls, let's here go for docker stop container 2. So now container 2 stopped. So let's now display the current container. We only have container 1 running. And here I will just see all the running container and non running. So one running and one stopped container let's now use a new feature called platform 
this is if I want to run a platform, for example, like Windows for, for this. And as we can see, this require experimental feature to be enabled. And in order to enable this feature, I need to go to Docker configuration and open settings. And here I will just need to, to go not here for the Docker engine and just to change the experimental to be true instead of false, apply and restart. So once I did that, it means that I can enable the platform switch. It will not work in this case. I just want to show you that. So as we can see, if I'm running now PS, we can see that I don't have any running container, but I have to stop the container. I can also navigate to the settings and let's open the visual UI. For example, if I click here, we can see the two containers. This is con one. I can also from the GUI see the logs. I can also start the container from here. And if I navigate now, we can see that the container is running from four second. And here also I can see that the container is running. I can start container two. So as we can see the GUI here, we can see that this is reflected on the Docker command line as well. I can here inspect the image that this container created from the logs, the status to see the memory and the usage. And of course, if I, for example, go for the container so we can see that how any process will increase the usage for the memory and the processor. So for example, if I say here docker attach to con2 and then let's for example do anything and as you can see the processor start increase the usage. And of course I can stop here which will exit this container. So we have a beautiful GUI which can give me some helpful to do that. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any question or inquiry, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.